Mario from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create an awesome explosion. Alright, so I diffused it. I even have some seconds left. Three, two, one. Maybe I should have got the red one. Alright, so this explosion is actually from Starter VFX. I will put a link in the description where you can download these sample files so you can use them in this tutorial. They're completely free, um, but if you want the complete pack with multiple choices, different explosions, different kind of visual effects, you will have to buy that pack. I will also link that in the description. Really check it out, it's really awesome. You can do a lot of cool things at a really simple pace. You can actually do this in Premiere or any editing software. I will prefer to work with After Effects for this tutorial. Um, because we can tweak a little bit more there so you could go very simplistic you could go very advanced in this tutorial it's just showing what's possible uh, of course if you would do a screen shake on your camera or a shockwave of smoke the explosion would look a lot more realistic but that's not the point of this tutorial this tutorial is just to demonstrate what's possible with this pack at a very fast pace and yeah open up After Effects and let's start creating all right so here we are in adobe after effects and i have my footage right here so i shot this footage on a tripod so we don't have to track it and if i go to my project manager right here i will import my starter vfx pack that you can download in the description all right so here i am in the folder uh, free effects so you will get five free effects and you can actually preview all the possible effects that you could get if you buy this pack so you have a lot of other options as you can see right here um, but if you go to the actual free effects you can import for example the explosions and if we import that uh, let's preview it so double click on it and you can see right here we have our explosion really nice very um, beautiful colors in there so we'll be using that for this uh, tutorial let's drag this into our composition and actually if you just want to keep it very simple you can drag it somewhere in the footage and it already looks pretty nice actually so you can see that it looks pretty good uh, but of course you can tweak it to look even better um, so I'll place it somewhere around here and then I will duplicate my original file here and I will go to effect color correction and add a tint effect to that solid I will solo it so I can only focus on that video file go to effect color correction while selecting it of course effect color correction levels so that's right over here Let's drag this in a little bit so we get more blacks in our shot here. And then if we drag this out a little bit, we can bring this in to get more whites in the sky. So let's play like this. And then you can play around with um, the midtones here. So let's drag this in and drag it out. Okay, there we go. I think this looks like a okay mask. Let's use this for now. So unsolo it and drag this explosion below the um, yeah Luma key uh, as we call this so let's toggle the switches right click Luma mat and that's going to um, make our explosion be in the background and of course you can go back to the explosion here and tweak it just a little bit more and depending on whatever you want so let's play around a little bit something like this here and we can yeah, do a lot of other things. We can actually duplicate our explosion, put it on top and lower the opacity just uh, a bit here. So we get some smoke uh, in front of the, of the trees here. And maybe I want to make the blue here uh, a little bit desaturated, but that's uh, not for this tutorial as we want to keep it simple. So uh, what we can do now is go and add a new adjustment layer. And here we are going to call this um, glow. And actually we can toggle this off. Uh, so it's not tracking uh, not tracking the uh, adjustment layer. So now we have a um, Adjustment layer right here. Let's go to effect and actually before we do that go to project file and hold alt and click over here So we get 32 um, bits per channel instead of 8. That's going to get you a lot more Yeah, nicer colors using glow. So go to effect stylize and add some glow here and Bring up the threshold here and actually we can increase the radius just a bit and decrease the intensity by a lot so something like this and actually you can see that it's also glowing the sky right here so if you don't want that you will have to key things out but um, I kind of like it so you can play a little bit more with uh, the threshold maybe and that's also going to affect it 
Uh, we can see that it's only affecting uh, the explosion right now, so we can keep it as it is, like so. So play around until you're satisfied with that. Uh, we'll keep it very low here, the intensity, something like 0.2. And duplicate my glow in here, I will increase my radius, and increase my uh, intensity, then duplicate it again, increase my radius, and maybe lower my intensity just a bit, and just play around until you're satisfied with these colors. Now you're getting a nice glow on tour of your explosion, so that's uh, really nice. You can see right here before and after, and actually, I like to play a little bit with the threshold. The sky glow doesn't really bother me, so... Of course, you don't have to exaggerate here. And there we go. Okay, so now we can play a little bit, bit with color, so um, we'll go and add a new adjustment layer. And actually, this is going to be final grade, we'll keep that for now. Um, but if we go back to that explosion, uh, the first one, we can actually go to effects, color correction, curves, and we can bring up our shadows a little bit to match it with the shadows of our uh, shot here, because my shadows are very detailed here, so uh, we can bring that up a little bit, and then maybe add some contrast if you want to, so brighten it up a little bit right over here, maybe add some reds into that shot and some greens, because my shot is actually very green. Uh, so we can bring that up a little bit and right away you can see um, that it's fitting our shot a little bit better Also the glow comes out nicely Maybe the glow is a little too intense here. You can see that right over here So we go to the glow again and decrease the intensity where needed so we don't have to exaggerate things actually Mm, there we go. Okay, this is actually looking pretty nice. And we're actually done. So this is our explosion. As you can see, our explosion ends quite fast. And that's uh, something that you can actually fix. Uh, in the preview, you uh, can notice that my shot actually lasts a lot longer. And the way I've done that, I used the plugin Twixter. Uh, so if you don't have that, you can actually fix it. Um, but Twixter actually slows down your footage uh, which, uh, without uh, giving you distortion in your footage, so it actually blends in really nicely. So you can make it longer if you really want it to, um, but for this free example it only lasts a few seconds, so um, yeah, if you have that in mind it shouldn't be a problem, just make sure your shot doesn't last longer. And there we go, we have our explosion, looks pretty nice, and now we can finalize it with a final grade. I will use actually a Lumetri uh, color here, I will add my Lumetri color, and I will just import a creative loot, uh, lit here, and browse my lits, and... Right here, so if you didn't know, we also sell LUTs, and if you're interested in that, uh, you can just click on a specific LUT, for example, uh, let's use the teal and orange here. Okay, and let's open that up, and now you get some color grading instantly, so you can uh, drag this down a little bit, the effect, so it's not that intense. Um, or maybe go to basic uh, correction and just increase the shadows just a bit. And there we go, now we have a grade here. Uh, using our LUT. So if you want to see our LUTs, a link will be in the description as well. Um, but this is actually uh, how to create a cool looking explosion really quickly using free effects uh, from the uh, VFX starter pack. So definitely check out our website uh, with a full video. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a like. Also subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.